How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to do a little bit of a franchise challenge. So if you guys are interested in seeing some more franchise challenges along the way, let me know in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and hit that like button if you guys actually like this. You know, the more likes, the more comments that you guys tell me, hey, I want to see future challenges. Um, let me let me know. I definitely the more the more I see likes, the more I see comments, I definitely will do more of these. Um, so basically what we're doing today is we're gonna take a 99 overall team. Yes, a 99 overall team. Basically what I did was take all the legends and put them onto the San Francisco Giants. And what we're gonna try to do is go 162 and oh. So what I did was I turned ignore budgets on. I made sure we can sign these guys up for long-term contracts. And uh, we're gonna try to go 162 and oh. Is it gonna happen? I don't know. If it doesn't happen the first season, we're definitely going to try again next uh, second season. And if it doesn't happen the second season, we're going to try a third season. I really want to see how close a 99 overall team can go 162 and 0. So again, guys, if you want to see some more challenges like this, let me know in the comment section. Give me some of your ideas. I know it's kind of like a what if um, rebuild where we've been doing like prospects and stuff like that. We could do how quickly can a zero overall team win a world series i know we do have a zero overall franchise um that'll start soon but we could do like a one-off video where we can have like no rules let's see how quickly we can make a zero overall team good um how many home runs can barry bonds hit in today's baseball stuff like that let me let me know what you guys think give me some of your ideas and we'll definitely get into it so without further ado let's look at this lineup you know ty cobb stan musial jimmy fox frank thomas lou gehrig Rogers, Hornsby, Willie Mays, Mike Piazza, Mike Schmidt, you know, Eddie Murray, Ricky Henderson on the bench, you know, bat, uh, pitching wise, we got Christy Mathewson, Tom Seaver, Walter Johnson, Babe Ruth, Cy Young um, in the bullpen. We got Ron Guidry, Bob Feller, Bob Gibson, Hal Neuheiser, Eric Gagne, Dennis Eckersley, and of course, Raleigh Fingers. So overall, I mean, the team shouldn't lose a game, right? You know, you got 99s all over the place. We got a couple 97s, but it's still a team that is unreal. Really quickly, I'll cover, I'll take away my face so you guys can see. Now you can see we are the number one ranked team in every single category, as is expected. You know, the team is scary. Like, if I was coming up against this team, I would be absolutely terrified. So, there's that. There's the team there's basically what we're trying to do we're trying to go undefeated can we do it who knows 162 games is an unreal amount like i kind of I, I don't want to say the mlb season's too long but it's a lot of games you know crazy stuff happens in a sim style franchise um basically you've seen it you know some sometimes i think the team is maybe a wild card contender we end up winning a world series and then so it's crazy how things can happen. We could win, you know, 89 games, end up winning the World Series with a team that, you know, I didn't think was going to even make the playoffs. But then a second time, we could have a team that won 110 games, be the best team by a country mile in MLB and end up losing to a wild card team, getting swept and then get knocked out first round of the playoffs or not even making the playoffs. It's crazy how sim style franchise, it just it's unpredictable there's too many variables that can happen so who really knows what's gonna happen so let's let's see how this first season goes um i've had some freezing issues so i'm gonna quickly save before um like i've just had some weird things where like franchise will freeze for a second so i want to i want to save this so i don't lose it um yeah let's get into it let's let's get into it now we're gonna take it month by month probably for the first season see how things go and oh jeff bagwell before we start we got to get jeff bagwell in here why wasn't jeff bagwell an option for the team what jeff bagwell's got to be in the mix he's a beast all right now let's see how things go all right so far so good all right seven and oh on the year all right all right i don't care fix the rotation i don't want to see those notifications anymore Okay, no, we lose our first game against the Rockies. We got shut out, then we lose to the Pirates. And then we lost to the Dodgers. So three losses in the first season. Our first loss, Christy Mathewson. Really, we lose 4-0. And then Bob Feller, who's 
lost twice. He's only pitched four innings in two games. That's stupid. All right. All right, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Can we go 160 and two? No, it's not going to happen. All right. So maybe 159 and three. Is that a possibility? Um, so far, so good. I mean, we won. Wait, 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 wait. Th All right. So I had to cut it there. Dogs went absolutely ballistic because the mailman came to the door. So, and he rang the doorbell. So my dogs lost it. So you guys can see how things went um, for this month right about here was when everything went nuts so i'm gonna i'm gonna probably cut it right about here so basically what happened was we went undefeated for the rest of the month we're gonna hop into june um otherwise you're gonna hear me like talking and it's just gonna go wild with barks and loud noises it's not enjoyable it's not enjoyable for me it's definitely not gonna be enjoyable for those who use headphones so we lose to the mets and the dodgers the dodgers are our bogey team you know we just we're just losing too many times to these Dodgers. So let's see how many games we can finish up, you know, you know, with a with what's going to be our record, basically what I'm trying to say. I was going to say it some very weird way, but what's going to be our our record to finish the season? I'm going to go 12 losses. I feel like we can finish the season with 12 losses. We got a couple months left. I don't care about trades. I want to get through the season. So we lose to the Mets and the Brewers again. All right. Not the best. We lose to the Cubs. So we can only lose one up. There's our loss for my projection on the record. So let's not lose again. Okay, we did lose twice, uh, a, a couple more times actually. That's not cool. So are we gonna finish under 20 losses now? Is that a possibility? Which I mean, that's I mean that's 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 a pretty nice record if we can finish with under 20 losses. So continue 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 i don't i don't care about the minor leagues i'm only caring about our 99 overall team the dodgers beat us again so let's keep going let's keep going let's keep going and we finish the dodgers beat us again we finished with 21 losses really we're gonna finish with 21 losses when i was trying to go for 20 we go with 21 so league leaders i mean i'm just gonna let you guys read that but you know there, there's some pretty nice stats there we got Hornsby with batting average, Hornsby with hits, Hornsby with on base plus slugging, and then we got a bunch of pitching stuff. So, I mean, it, that's some pretty nice, pretty good stats to see there. Uh, we got a silver slugger for Hornsby. MVP went to Walter Johnson. Hank Aaron went to Rogers Hornsby. Gold glove for Ty Cobb. Cy Young went to Walter Johnson. And then Raleigh Fingers, delivery man of the year. So, let's, let's take a pick pick take a peek at how everybody did you guys can see christy Ma christy matthewson 21 and 3 solid era very good 2.01 i think it said yeah um uh, tom siever all right okay um walter johnson solid babe ruth solid cy young pretty good i mean what 3.02 was our best our worst era that's respectable um you know a little a little high on the eras here for the team but overall eric gagne whoa 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 i mean you didn't lose a game but a six era unacceptable unacceptable but the, the rest of the team definitely you know held their own i mean what are we looking at everybody above 300 for batting average besides willie mays why is willie mays not getting a, a 300 and mike schmidt mike schmidt's not getting 300 but everybody else can hit the ball besides these uh, what what's going on here everybody should be like 300 everybody should have like 400 home runs there's no reason why we shouldn't so there's that you know we won the division by a long 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 shot like there was no chance any other team was coming to beat us let's get into the playoffs let's see how things go and we beat the dodgers which were our bogey team we, you know they did win two games which is kind of shocking um we lost three to the nationals whoa that's a little close there bud but we do win the world series after losing two to the yankees so a little scary how things went there you know we went to game seven with the nationals but let's see if season two you know let's see if season two changes things we can do a little bit better so i'll see you guys at the start of season two all so to start season two i was simming 
I wasn't kind of paying attention. And we got, we got, you know, up until April, which was awesome. I was like, oh man, we're gonna do it. This is our chance. And then literally the first game of May, we lose our first game. And I was like, no, we just went, I think it was what? Like it was like 29 or 30 games up until this point without losing. And you can see now in the top left hand corner, we're 99 and 10. We're actually at the trade deadline. So I was like, oh, we went, we went like a third, what? 30 games, about an eighth of the way through the season. No, sixth of the way through the season without losing, which I mean, it's pretty cool, but it's, it's looking like nine, uh, 99, 162 and oh, is pretty unattainable. Even for a team like this, you know, I feel like two seasons for this challenge was enough um, to kind of get the idea that it's it's just unless you play every single game and you can guarantee that you're gonna win every single game it's just it's not possible like I don't even think we're gonna finish with a better record this year I still think we're gonna lose about 21 games you know we, we won two more this year so 143 and 19 so I mean it's still pretty close but to go 162 and oh, I just, I don't think it's possible. You know, it, it's, it was pretty close. It definitely is. I mean, 19 losses is not a bad thing at all. Like that's, that's a crazy amount of wins for, wait, we're not even first in every category. We're not first in speed anymore. Who's first in speed? I got to know who's first in speed. All right, so it's not anybody in the National League. So let's go to the American League. Who is it? The White Sox. All right. But you guys can see. I mean, the team is unreal. It's just, first off, Tom Seaver sucks. He's got, like, half of our losses. But, uh, you know, when you have a team like this, you, yeah, obviously. Holy cow, Dennis Eckersley. Whoo. I mean, yeah, some of these players are old. So you can see, you know, a player like this, you know, he dropped like 10 ratings. So age is coming into play a little bit. Um, not so much with the hitters, but I mean, it's, I guess it's just not possible. You know, it, it, it's a tough challenge. 162 games when you're simming all the games, like I mentioned before, there's just too many variables that occurs so we we sweep the the dodgers we're gonna play the reds now so we'll see what happens here we lose three in a row so we had to come back for that and then we won the world series so again yeah we're we're gonna win nine times out of ten but there's always that one chance that we do lose so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i know it really wasn't a rebuild per se or anything like that but i wanted to see have a little fun have a little bit of a challenge for today's episode see how things today's episode today's video um just to kind of see is it really possible to go 162 and 0 and like i said unless you're playing every game i don't think it is like if you guys can do it go ahead and tweet me my twitter's down below in the you know in the description along with all my other social media links um so yeah uh, I think that's it guys. You know, I said we were gonna do a third season, but after two I think you kind of get the picture that it's just, I don't it's just not possible It really isn't so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did you know what to do hit the like button more likes Obviously, I know you guys enjoy the content um, Tomorrow Sunday there will be a Royals franchise. There will probably also be a rebuild I'm trying to double upload from here on out. I want to get more content to you guys I feel like you guys deserve it. You guys have been amazing with the support. Um, tonight, I'll probably be streaming at some point. So again, in the description, there is my Twitch channel. Go ahead and follow it so you guys know whenever I'm going live, you guys will get a notification. And that's about it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new and enjoy the content. And in the comments section, let me know which team or challenge or thing to rebuild like just you know give me some video ideas let me know what you guys want to see and i'll catch you all in the next video peace